Hare Krishna. Focus on the cause that brings us together, not on the conditions and conditionings that push us apart. We are all individuals and individuals means that we will have our differences. So when we interact with each other, these differences need to be dealt with maturely. If we focus on those differences too much, if we obsess on them, then those differences will push us apart. Now, we all have our nature, our conditionings, and we also come from different conditions in our particular life situations. And we may have different priorities, different preferences, because of which we may feel pulled in different directions. But if we want to have mature, sustainable, fulfilling relationships, then we need to see beyond the differences. We need to see the common cause that we are all working for. The Bhagavad Gita explains that we are all souls, we are all spiritual beings. Sarva bhuteshuye naikam bhavam avyayam ikshate avibhaktam vibhakteshu tajyanam vidhisatvikam in 18.20, Krishna says that beyond the variety of physical forms that living beings have is their common spiritual essence. And for, for that the soul, every soul is a part of Krishna. And ultimately, all souls are meant to serve Krishna. In 4.35, Krishna says, Yaj jnatva napunar moham evam yasisi pandava yena bhutanya sheshani Krishna says, when we get spiritual knowledge, we see all living beings are in Krishna and they are our Krishnas. That they all belong to Krishna. We all belong to Krishna. So our common cause is service to Krishna. The loving service to Krishna is the common cause that unites all of us. And thus, that is what we need to work for. Now, the Pandavas are good examples of each being individual, distinct individual with significant differences in personality and preferences. Yudhishthir is very pacific, likes to keep peace. Bhim is very bellicose and yet they all work together. That is depicted right in the start of the Bhagavad Gita when the war is about to take place, when all of them are united together in the cause of establishing Dharma. So 1.15 describes how Arjun and Bhim blew their conscience. And Panchajanyam Rishi Kesho Devadattam Dhananjaya Paundram Dadmau Maha Shankham Bhima Karma Vrukodara. So Krishna blew his conscience, Panchajanya, Arjun blew his conscience, Devadatta. Bhim blew his conscience, Paundram. That was Mahashankam, huge conch it was. He was a huge body and he had a huge conch. And then the next verse describes 16th verse Ananta Vijayam Raja Kunti Putro Yudhishthira Nakula Sahadevascha Sughosha Mani Pushpakao. That Yudhishthir blew his conch shell, that is Ananta Vijaya and Sughosha and Mani Pushpaka. These were the conch shells of Nakula and Sahadev. They blew all it, all of them. So they focused on the cause that brought them all together, the cause of dharma, the cause of devotion. And thus, although there was the diversity of personality, there was unity in their purpose, unity in their spirituality, unity in their bhakti. Taking inspiration from their example, we can also stop focusing on the conditions and conditioning that push us apart and focus on the cause that brings us together. Thank you. Hare Krishna.